Hey everybody. Hey everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Monday. Well, so we talked about it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's they're all Monday. the same, man. It, oh, all the, same. It's Monday, long weekend, short weekend. Friday, who cares? Oh, I see. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, short weekend. Right. Monday through Thursday is long weekend. Oh, so we're in long weekend. We're in right long now? weekend. Right? Happy long weekend. Happy long weekend. <laughs> I like that. Nice Let's to see you. Go. Everybody have good days? Yeah, it was. It started out beautiful. It's a little cold right now. Yeah. I think, unfortunately, it looks like we have some like kind of crappy weather oh, for another really? week. I didn't see that shit. I know, man. I know. Mother's Day, I'm it's hoping that the like the sun will be out at least. I hope Even so. if it's like a little bit on the cooler side, you need a nice sunny day for um, Mother's Day. Yeah. Sets the tone. I mean, Mother's Day is very important, but it's uh, my favorite holiday today. Is May the fourth. Yeah, may the fourth be with you. It's Star May the fourth be with you. <laughs> so anyway, it is Star Wars. Had to Day. say, had to get it in there. Well, we have we have a generation of Star Wars. Yes. Um, us for sure. Well, we got to do that. We got to do something special then for okay. uh, maybe a nice cocktail or something. Let's Come see. up with something. I like it. All right. We start off every show or every beer. one of these live things with a beer. Beer. Today we have a Burley Oak beer. We talked about Burley Oak there from Maryland. I've never had this beer before. It is called Bilsner. Like now, we've like, had a lot of Burley Oak. Yes. It's never but a Pilsner. Not, right. Not and a, never not this before. one in particular. This is called Bilsner, an American Pilsner. And it looks like um, a picture of a guy named Bill right there. Hence Which is the pun. The, I think he's the brewer. Well, I'm excited. I didn't know we were doing Pilsners. Yes, again. I know you love those, so it's, I like bringing uh, them out. Perfect. Yeah. Bilsner. Not Miss And I figured we'd drink a lot of, um, you know, American style beers uh, yesterday. Not necessarily we did. craft, but mm-hmm. just, you know, Bud Light, Little Light. So today we're going to go do a craft version of oh, those type of I beers. I love it. Which, by the way, we've always done that here, right? So, like, yeah. Night Shift. We have had Night Shift on more than uh, Night Shift Nightlight in particular, more than any beer I think we've had. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's why? A because hour it's hour. a it's an artisanal craft version of a classic it's American. The three we tried yesterday, it fits right in that. Fits right in there. Right. It's better than all of them, by the way. We drink the hell out of it. Mm-hmm. Someone is saying that the commenting is not working. I got a text from somebody. Um, just that person you just you. Can you, can, yeah. who can that you comment? Oh, no, I see a comment here. Yeah, You'll be you commented comment. you can't comment. Of course yeah. you can comment. <laughs> <laughs> so um, here we are. So um, Burley Oak. Burley Oak. Pilsner. Which is an, it's their version of an American-style Pilsner. So here we go. Okay. Oh, by the way, cheers, everybody. Sorry. Cheers. And we talked today. We want to maybe – we're trying to find a name. Trying to find a name for what this is. I thought reunion last call was good. Yeah. So that was Sargon's idea today. Let's we, we stop service at eight o'clock and we're gonna do a video. Last call li- reunion. Last call reunion. Yeah. So I last like call. Every day. Once the last order goes out, then we'll do last mm-hmm. call here with us and we'll yep. talk about uh, some beers and the offerings and so kinda like just keep doing this until we, you know, run out of ideas. But I don't know if I, I think between the three of us we'll come up with a lot. I like it. So, this is good. It's so uh, it's sweeter than all sweeter. three of the ones we had yesterday. Sweeter yeah. than all three. So I this is in the Miller like this is in the Miller camp. This has um, Miller High Life. It's it's not a light yep. beer. Yep. I Miller High I, Life. Yep. Malty Absolutely. sweet. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I mm-hmm. was thinking it was going to be drier. That's definitely. It's not dry. No? I mean, so, it's it's great. It's very nice. And then every single day we've been doing these. As much as I love this beer, we've never talked about food. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I right? That, like, I'm like, guys. Is this a re- about, is this a restaurant? I know. You know, first and foremost, <laughs> we are a restaurant. I mean, we are a restaurant. Think, Deep down, we can't hide what we are, which is uh, fans or connoisseurs of, of uh, beer, wine, beverages. Right. So, yes. uh, libations. So, for us, um, we, we spent a little time talking about the Mother's Day. Yeah, but we haven't sampled any. But today, we haven't we're talked talk about, about our food. actual food items that we have sold today, and we've been selling for the last couple of days, and moving forward, hopefully, new staples to the menu. Yep. So today we got buffalo meatballs. Buffalo balls. These are our. Already in-house made meatballs that we have, yep. and uh, we douse them in our homemade buffalo sauce. Yep. And it's you wouldn't think you know it's something I, as simple we, as that, but it's so they're awesome, freaking good. Yep. And especially with this like sweet style of beer, it is a perfect match. Mm-hmm. This pilsner with yeah. this. So I'm getting hungry. A couple yep. of little side of uh, what's that? Blue cheese dressing. Blue cheese. Blue cheese we we serve vegetables. it just like our wings. And we sell we sell that for I think it's nine dollars. And you get that to go is so, so yeah, good. Homemade meatballs. So fresh garlic. I'm gonna dig right in, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have one. And just kind of uh, give you my 
my impressions on all this, but go ahead. I'll I'll pay a million dollars if you just spit it out as soon as you can. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't like it. <laughs> well, I love our meatballs. I mean, I love our meatballs. So look at me. I was gonna be like. I know you. Um, do you know anything about any um, anything about the blend of meat, Sean? Uh, well, so our burgers, yes. This is just a hamburger mix. But our um, our hamburgers we get from Pat Lafrida Meats. So uh, well, if you use. don't know Pat Lafrida Meats, go on YouTube, go on the internet, type in Pat Lafrida. Pat Lafrida uh, is a New York, New Jersey um, beef not supplier. To confuse me, that's our burgers. That's, that's our burgers. Yeah. yeah, not these. We This is a normal ground so hold meat. On. Hold that thought right, for one go. second. I want to take this big bite. I douse mine in blue cheese. And I wanted to get like a little bit of extra buffalo there. So that's how I like mine. Awesome. Oh, man. It's so hearty. It's so simple. Mm hmm. Like you wouldn't think. And it's so good. Well, I'm a sucker for blue cheese. Always. I'll, I'll eat blue mm -hmm. cheese on cardboard. Mm -hmm. Like soak a sock in it. Mm -hmm. I'll eat it. I'm going to have some more. Um, and I like our meatballs. Yep. Like we have, it's a homemade meatball. Light on the breadcrumb, lots of garlic, good ground beef. I still have a swig of beer left, so. Yeah. You lucky bastard. Oh, see, that's that's like the, I almost called it something. That is really, really good right there. Yeah. The, the sip of beer right after that bite. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. well, we were talking so, about beer and wine pairings yesterday. Yeah. I think beer and appetizers go well together. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? It's a good place to have. Hundred percent. So, <laughs> the buffalo meatballs on the menu. We just recently added them, and we've kind of added uh, a lot of different new items. Yeah. Um, one section or one thing that has always been a huge seller of ours is our burgers, and that's what you were talking about with the Pat Lafrida uh, yep. beef. So we expanded that menu a little bit. If you guys don't know at home, we added three new burgers. Three new burgers. Yeah. Um, one. It's called the Blue Burger, and that was kind of your concoction. Do you want to take us through that? Well, so it's my us? wife's favorite hamburger. Okay. So it's it's a burger with blue cheese and a Frank Red Hot aioli, um, What'd purple you call onion. Me? <laughs> huh? What'd you call me? <laughs> You're an aioli. Um, <laughs> so it's a Buffalo Blue Blue Burger. It's basically a great hamburger, blue cheese, Frank's Red Hot, um, lettuce and purple onion. And so that's the blue burger. That's right the blue there. burger. And so and then it has it, kind of like, a, you know, to go on the buffalo theme, a little bit of a kick to it. Or? Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, right. So you've got the you've got the same exact sauce, the same sauce that we're using on the wings and the meatballs, and our homemade house made blue cheese. Um, yeah, it's so it's like the buffalo flavor that like buffalo chicken wing flavor is good on anything. Yeah. Right. Put it on mac and cheese. Put it on a salad. Mm -hmm. Put it on. Mm. A wing, put it on a meatball. Like buffalo sauce is great. Right? Yes. So, this is putting it on a burger, basically. I wish I had more beer. What? what? You, what? I oh, think you have more beer. You, oh my God, I was gonna say you, know you might have more beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so um, thirsty all so of a sudden. So the second um, burger, you know, the second, I'll be right back. <laughs> the second burger that's on the menu uh, that we added is the cowboy. Burger. The cowboy burger. And that I think, out of all the new burgers, has been selling the most. And I kind of want to walk us through that real quick. No question. So the Cowboy bur Burger, it's our same burger, so Pat Lafrida, tr uh, triple blend. So it's the Pat Lafrida Burger is um, Chuck, <laughs> tri-tip, <laughs> and uh, short rib. So it's a short rib, tri-tip, Chuck blend, which are the best flavorful meats for burgers, I think. And so does Pat Lafrida. Um, so the same burger, and then it's... Um, Onion rings, basically. We call it, we say, uh, what do we say? Fried onion strings? Onion crisps. Onion crisps. It's onion rings. So it's a burger, onion rings. Um, I'll tell you, uh, those onion rings oh are my like God. crack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those like, are, like, somehow, like, steel Burger King zesty sauce will be onto something. Yes. yes. We, have, we do the have, we have awesome. a sauce that's similar. We have yeah. the sauce, yeah. <laughs> we do. Um, so good. But, like, honestly, like, they cook them to order because if they cook them, we just eat them. Yeah. They, yeah. The whole staff eats them all day long. So it's always cooked to order, so the crisps are nice and fresh. Yep. They're never going to be stale on the burger. Um, and like I said, I think that's been our best-selling new burger that it, we've had. No question. People are, are digging it. Yeah. And um, Cheddar cheese. I, yes. 
and, and then barbecue. Uh, barbecue sauce. Yeah. So um, we're barbecue guys. We like to barbecue. Um, we we tasted every barbecue sauce we get our hands on, and we have a nice tangy, spicy, not too sweet, not too ketchupy, like a nice solid barbecue so, sauce. Before we get to the third and last burger, uh, as a rule of thumb, anything that we drink out here, we have to tell you guys what exactly. it is. I want to so what did you what did you crack open? So yeah, I doing? opened up a Founders All Day IPA. Love it. And uh, the thing I love about it, I think we talked about it the first day. I was. Uh, when we were doing a little day drinking, our yes. first time we ever did this, we talked about how you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Well, True. this is uh, this, this all day IPA embodies that entire philosophy. Yeah. It's a it's a session ale. It, it drinks uh, like a full. It looks like got this great IPA. Thing great hop. Going. There's a hop to it. Great hop, but it's not heavy. It won't. So that's a beer, down. very similar to in the, in the vein of. We can drink this all day. Session beer. Session beer. Now, the difference is it's going to have a little bit of a, a different flavor profile than, let's say, the Pilsner or the light lagers that we've been having. This is going to be more in the vein of an IPA, a little bit more hoppier, a little bit more bite, if yeah. you will, right? So yesterday, the drink, the beers we drank were malt forward. Yeah. So they're more toasty, bready, sweet. These are on the hoppier side. Yes. So Lagunitas, Founders. Our friend Todd, who uh, did Banner Beer, these sessionable IPAs, they're the flavor po- profile shifted. Yeah, it's a lot of hop forward. So looking for a bitter, so something that'll like. I forget what it tastes like. <laughs> so you we, Josh and I, real quick. <laughs> well, Founders was early to the market. So right away you could tell. Drink it. Yeah, yeah no. Wait a second. Hey, give me, yeah, yeah, give that back. Get your own. Back he I, was, I was just drinking it. It's like I kissing. I don't care, it. man. Come on. What do you think? Nope. You're my partner. You're like, we might as well be married. Not on TV. All right, fine, whatever. So <laughs> We behave ourselves. Anyway, um, so th- that is the, the founder's <laughs> all-day IPA. Yeah. I can only imagine what it tastes like. Since Josh took <laughs> this go, is the best thing go ever happened. Go get another one. Well, the well, best thing that ever happened. Now I, these guys will stop stealing my so, drinks. <laughs> So, for, no, 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 I don't need one. I'm just, I'm just playing. So, back to what we were talking about. Sorry, that was a quick beer interlude. The third burger that we have. Uh, you call me? <laughs> the third burger is. Uh, <laughs> OMG. The OMG burger. This OMG. is like insane. So, t- take us through that a little bit if you can. Well, so. I'm we're take a huge bite of this meatball because it's so down good. You know, I love I love to watch Food Network, Travel Channel, food shows in general, and um, a lot of places are defined by a product, and they have like I wouldn't say gimmicky, but they have like some things that like make them stand out. And we love our burger. We've always loved our burger. It's a great burger, but we've had one burger for almost two years. Um, you can get it however you want, but so we thought let's open this up and change it a little bit and add some options, so the cowboy burger the blue burger but the omg burger is kind of like my obsession with food shows that are like over the top like the whole man contest shows food. man versus food right, right. um you know diners driving the dives so this burger is two grilled cheese sandwiches so we we grill off two grilled cheese with cheddar cheese cabot cheddar we use a, a mild cabot cheddar two grilled cheese and then it's two burgers with bacon and cheddar stacked in between so it's it's uh it's about a pound and a half burger by the time you add everything up yeah it's like it's eight slices of cheese ten maybe ten slices of cheese it's uh four giant thick cut pieces of bacon and eight ounces of beef um and sandwich in between sandwich in between the two grilled cheese yeah so and then you can add anything you want to it and you can add layers too you can add as many as you want so it's um it's phenomenal it's very decadent I think people, yeah, I think people underestimate it. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can move that out of the way. I think people underestimate it. They take it, uh, they get it, and they're like, oh, my God. And that's kind of why we wanted to. I mean, it, it could burger. feed three people. Absolutely, easily. Like, it's, you could eat, like, you could eat it for three days. So, well, while Josh is gone, I'm just going to say hello to some people. Hi, Father Greg. How are you? How's it going? Oh, great. Hi. Hi, Father Greg. Cheers, Gary. We missed you yesterday. All right, good. My uncle said he can finally comment, which is good. All right, good. <laughs> well, good for him. That's, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. So, 
No, he always has very nice comments yeah, for no, us. <laughs> so, today... Um, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. I think it's the time for it's, it's May the 4th be with you. Oh, you gotta pull the thing down. Da, da, da. May the 4th be with May you. May the 4th be with you. So, so, what do you got for us today? Well, today we should try a cocktail. Wait. So, there is no try. Well, no, there is no try. Only yeah, do. We're just gonna drink. There, there is no try. <laughs> Only do. Uh, so, I'm going to make for you one of my favorite. Star Wars inspired cocktails called okay. the Imperial Blue. Perfect. So we've got the blue, blue lightsaber. lightsabers, blue drinking. Love it. So this is a great drink. Um, it's uh, traditionally a martini style. When I say traditionally, I don't think anyone's ever made it before, so I don't know if it's really traditional. Well, in Tatooine, they make them all the time. Exactly. This is more of a Death Star cocktail lounge. Death Star cocktail. <laughs> this is the one you're going to get when you're like. Waiting to meet Darth Vader tomorrow for the big interview down at the bar. You're going to have your Imperial Blue. So but it's, a, it's think, a martini. It's a martini. So yes. it's an up drink. It's more of a Manhattan. So it's up, Manhattan up no ice. Yes. Yep. So this is a bourbon-based drink. And when, a when I think Star Wars, every single drink needs to glow in the dark. Oh, absolutely. Like, it doesn't matter what color it is, right? I They're all more. neon. I don't know. I just feel like they're on I the couldn't end. Couldn't agree more. All right. So this guy, uh, typically when people think of those colored fruity drinks, they think vodka, rum, sweet, uh, super sweet. Blue uh, this one's still going to be a little sweet, but we're going to go with bourbon. So bourbon's a different sort of twist on the the vodka martini idea, or the vodka of, you know sweetened drinks. Yep. So we're going to use our house vodka, our house uh, bourbon, which is four star, four roses. Love the stuff. You're going to do about this much. One, Great company. two, and a half-ish. <laughs> yeah, make a little extra. We're going to try it. Three-ish. There you go. Then, uh... It's like the Sargon Hanno version of measuring. So Contro? always wrong. Then we got Cointreau. Sean, what do, you want, what do you want to say about Cointreau? I know you like Great orange liqueur, orange liqueur. It's like I mean, higher so, version of triple sec. Yeah, or? exactly. So you've got Grand Marnier, you've got Cointreau, you've got triple sec. Right. So orange so liqueur. What's Grand Marnier, be? Other than it's a brandy. It's a okay. fortified brandy with orange. So we're going for the same this, thing. Just by taking the bourbon and adding a little bit of this, you're going to get it closer to like a Grand Marnier sort of kick yeah. on the back. Perfect. So you're going to do like one and a half ish. Yeah, triple sec tends to have like an artificial <laughs> orange Let's flavor. Go. But then, like Sean said, imperative. It's got to glow in the dark. It's got to glow. And blue nothing cur- glows better than blue <laughs> curacao. Just, Which, by the way, is blue but orange. Yeah. So, orange so flavored. it's, it's orange flavored. flavored, but it's blue, right? So it's uh, literally just for it's show literally and just oh, for okay. show and tell. And these are um, they're this is your cheaper one, so add a little bit extra to give it. Just typically, I wouldn't add as much as I just did with of a triple sec or a curacao or something. But for this particular one, you want to get the color really right. So yeah, you yeah. Want to give it that. And it'll look extra. better on camera. So exactly. And then That's you just want to finish it off with a spray, a little splash of spray. Okay. So a little, a little bubble, a little sweet. Right, so one rule we know from bartending, once you add soda, we're not shaking this piece. Don't you start. Yeah. So we just give it some, let the ice get in there. You got a bar, you have a bar spoon down yeah, there. Yeah, it does have a spoon there right there. Yeah, see. You I, don't need it? You're not I'm not worried guy. about breaking my vodka. This, I'm only using this if you need making, to. when I have to be delicate with my. So screw it. We'll, we'll talk about that a different day. Okay. This is So strain this is fun. it, done. Give it a strainer. So done and done, basically. You mix it in a little strainer bit. The will start to get frothy. Yeah, you can see it froth outside. from here up you down. Know, you, you got cold. it nice and cold. Perfect. I mean, it's not going to kill you to shake it with that little bit of Sprite, but if you do it wrong, the pressure will build up and you'll absolutely spill your drink. Yeah, so, we, and we don't want to do that, right? We don't want to do that. So uh, we we'll try to keep it classy. Couple, there we go. Got you guys. And we're going to go with... Yeah, that glows in the dark, for sure. <laughs> It looks like radiator fluid. Yeah, that looks like a uh, futuristic Star Wars. Like if, if this was Heather's. What do you call this? Imperial blue? Imperial, Imperial blue. blue. It is. And then I, I mean, finish it with a cherry, probably. Like sure. Manhattan. Right. Orange a bright red cherry. Orange cherry. But the red cherry in the middle is going to give you the, 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 the death. It's going to look like the Death Star sitting in the middle of the drink. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, I know I've got one. I just forgot where I put them. Well, we don't need to. I mean, we're not, we're not that fancy, but, you know. Cherries? I think we can. Filthy Foods, by the way. <laughs> brands, I want to call it brands we like, Filthy Foods. So 
We've been buying Luxardo cherries since we opened, and they're great. Love Luxardo cherries. There's a company out there called Filthy Foods, and they make really awesome olives, stuffed olives. They've got their own uh, maraschino cherry, which is in the same vein as Luxardo, and they're cheaper, and they're great. Yes. So, Filthy so, Foods, and they have a great name. That. Oh, sorry. Here. I can open it. <laughs> Oh, I just I, 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 I didn't work out this morning. <laughs> All right, well let's go for that then. Oh, these are like they're beautiful, gooey and gooey and syrupy and dark red. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Let's awesome. Go. That looks dun, phenomenal. Dun, 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 By the way, um, since the uh, quarantine started, some movies have been on loop. Indiana Jones. Raiders, so, Raiders, on, I've seen that. Oh, my God. The entire series. I don't think it stopped yet. All Indiana Jones movies just are playing on loop in uh, order, constantly, chronologically. Constantly. That's, uh, They're on have, every day, all day. that one. May the fourth be with you. May the fourth be uh, with you. <laughs> cheers. 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 Whoops. <laughs> to our fallen stormtroopers. Yes. <laughs> Oh boy. That's, that is bourbon. That's bourbon. <laughs> that is a bourbon drink. You know, That's a bourbon. Um, it's good. The it's force fine. is strong with that one. <laughs> the force is strong. <laughs> with that one. Uh, it's good, though. Yeah. It's, it's less sweet than it looks uh, yeah, it's going to yeah. be. It's, uh, uh, unlike, it's unlike a stormtrooper, it hit its mark. It was exactly <laughs> what it was supposed to be. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a very sweet. Bourbon-y Very sweet bourbon-y drink. thing. Yeah. So, I mean, like bourbon, sense. you like sweet? I mean, let's face it, it's a novelty drink. Yeah. It's yeah. something you make at Halloween May, or, year, on, May or on May 4th. Maybe. You know, yeah, it's like a punch. It's like, it, you know what it reminds me of? It's like a punch. It's like a rum punch. You do it, people drink it, they laugh about it. Yeah, it's exactly. You they get a headache on, if they drink too much. You turn on uh, The Rise of Skywalker just came out on Disney Plus today. So you get yourself a so, cocktail. Re- Real quick, um, Greg, a good, our dear friend, who just literally ordered from us and oh yeah, just right here. before we started, he just uh, wrote in. He said that burger was delicious. Thanks, guys. Great to see you. So awesome. Thank, thank you, you, Greg, and thank you for being a constant uh, customer supporter. Of ours. From what I could gather, it was hard to tell. He had his mask on. But, <laughs> um, it sounded like he said to me that he pulled up in the parking lot, parked, went for a jog. He's a he's a oh yeah a long distance runner. Yeah. By uh, it's a hobby of his. He's a long distance runner on anyone's. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Right. Like 150 he, he runs 100 mile races. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean that with all due respect. Yeah. <laughs> he, he parked here and, and ran up and called us when he timed it just perfectly. Get back here runs in Georgia. I'm like, yeah. how do you do it? Uh, I don't even know. It's for um, fun. He goes up and down Mount Wachusett seven times. And we have uh, Christina saying, looking forward to a pretzel and a martini. So, oh. Aren't we all, man? Good. Aren't yeah. we all? I cannot wait till we get this thing back up and running and yeah. whatnot. Um, wanted to take a couple seconds to just kind of talk about uh, supply chain and just kind of needs and of the community, needs of our, right. our, our friends, our supporters, our employees, our, our, our family, um, you know, during this difficult time. I and mean, we've been watching the news and um, it sounds like, and again, I hope that it doesn't go down this path, but we could be facing um, some difficult times ahead in terms of supply. It's already started, right? And, so, and the supermarkets. And- so on day one, there was no toilet paper, no hand sanitizer, no wipes. Like, that stuff disappeared immediately. What was really odd was on our side, the restaurant side, all the restaurants shut down, like, the next day. And our supply chain was overwhelmed with product and clogged. But they can't move it to the supermarkets. So, like... We can get stuff like we have toilet paper. Like we can order pallets of toilet paper. No, but like <laughs> it's kidding. like it's it's in the supply chain. It's there. Oh, I see. But they can't get it to the supermarkets. Oh, so, um, Josh and Sargon and I, we have a couple different businesses, and Josh and I are on both sides. We're on the supplier side, and we're on the consumer side. So we sell to restaurants and supermarkets, and we buy as a restaurant. So the supermarket thing is a, it's its own animal. It's food. Food, you buy a hamburger, it goes to the supermarket. You buy a hamburger, it goes to the restaurant. But the way supermarkets run and the way 
restaurants run are so different and the supply chain is so different that like SKUs and packaging, UPC codes, building it into the system, all the things you think about when you go and buy a product, what actually happens, we can't just have the, the restaurant side send 50,000 pounds of beef to the supermarket side. They don't know what to do with it. It's not packaged right. It's not skewed right. It doesn't have, like literally it's a different thing even though it's the same product. We have access to some stuff, some yeah. stuff. So I mean, I think for, for me uh, anyway, and I'm sure you, we've talked about this a million times guys, and how, and we've always been wanting to be good um, stewards good for neighbors. the community, good neighbors yeah. for everyone. How do we do that? So we've realized, we were talking about it today, we said, you know, we have access to all these things. We want to, you know, put it out there right now. If you're having a hard time with anything, uh, with anything and it comes to, you know, if it's getting fed or buying, finding food at the supermarket or whatever it may be, please do not hesitate to reach out. Reach out. Give us a call. Give us a ring. We'll you keep know, it email completely it, confident. Co whatever you guys yeah. need. And if you know people who are in need, send them our way. Send them our way. And we want to help take care of them as much as we can. We're, we're here for, for, the long run and we want to help out everyone as much as we can and if we can we're in a position right now at this second that we might be able to get to certain foods or yeah. buy certain things that other people cannot so if you need help with that or anything that you can find or anything that you anyone you know I know I saw Father Greg on here earlier I know I'm gonna get a phone call later on he's gonna have people <laughs> we got plenty so of people send we'll them our them. way and let, let, let us know please you know I mean people are baking right flour yeast the supermarkets are empty yep I ordered 15,000 pounds of flour and 250 pounds of yeast for the bakery yesterday. It's going to be there tomorrow. So the supply chain's not broken. It's just... Well, tomorrow's a good day to rob it. We all have the masks yeah. already. Yeah. Yeah. Get the, get but the like, train. the food's out there, right? <laughs> so it's out there. If you need something, Tuesday let us know. Yes. Um, and if we can do it, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll. Yeah. So we, I, we just wanted to put that out there and, and just kind of, you know, kind of just make it official that we are here for, the, for you guys. Yeah. Um, and also, too, it's uh, just kind of in that vein, you know, Mother's Day is around the corner. These are events that are supposed to be celebrated and everyone's having a hard time this year because, you know, some mothers are much older and uh, it's going to be tough to go. You can't, really can't go see mom can't and sit down and have a meal with her. Mm -hmm. so and don't, either, by the way. Yeah. Let her be. It's getting worse. It's not getting better. Yeah, like, stay away, don't social, go social, visit social grandma business. unless you want this to be the last time you visit grandma. <laughs> well, and then, so for us, um, we're going to try to make that as easy as possible for you guys. So um, people have done this in the past. They'll order um, a meal for four. We don't mind splitting that meal up, you know, two no, we two, will. Uh, sure, we'll do that. One, whatever you need. If you want to send one meal to mom and then the three sons are eating it somewhere else. However, we can do that. Wherever, we can do that for you guys. So yep. whatever we can do to help. Uh, facilitate a, a happier Mother's Day for you. Just let us know too on that. I love it. So, um, and then I guess that's all we really got today. We, we we touched on the beer. We touched on the food. We had the Star Wars cocktail. <laughs> um, we need. I'm gonna need a black light because <laughs> this thing glows in the dark well, for here, sure. Can you oh yeah, back just. Here? Oh yeah, awesome. <laughs> parting, parting <laughs> words. Tomorrow we have. Um, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, and yeah. it happens to fall on Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. So we'll, we'll have some fun things for tomorrow lined up. Thank you again for, for joining us and watching us. And hopefully we can see you guys every single night. And we'll just hang out. It's always a good time. So We'll be here. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. Yeah. Have a great night.